Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Core Keeper. So we did our uh, farming video, which did pretty well. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. Um, just the little basics of how to farm, you know, hoeing, tilling the ground, watering the plants, where you can get seeds and everything like that. We're going to step it up a little bit. And this time we're going to talk about uh, a little bit more advanced farming. Now, the concept is the same, but the benefits and what you can actually harvest are going to be completely different and how you can harvest them. So you can see right here on the screen here, we've got some gold plants. You can see we have got some gold bomb peppers, gold carox, and then down here we've got some golden heart berries, golden glow tulips, even some golden puffingi. They're a little bit difficult to see, but you can see right down here on the bottom, there are a little gold on the bottom there. And uh, we've also got some fiber. Obviously you can't grow uh, golden fiber. So the way to get this done is you're gonna have to go into your gardening skill tree here. And uh, once you hit 80 points, I believe, right here total, you're gonna be able to start putting points into here into expert, expert gardener. This is gonna increase your chance that plants planted by you become golden, as we have here. So you start out with a 3%, and once you max this out up to five points, you're actually gonna have a 15% chance to uh, grow golden plants. Now, the golden plants are interesting because they give you similar statistics to the regular plants that you can harvest, but once you get into cooking them, you're gonna see the benefits there, so. One way you can increase your chances of doing this, um, just gardening in general, but definitely gonna help you out when you're harvesting these golden plants, is to get a few of these items right here. So the farmer's hat, and then we have uh, petal rings. Now you can look at here, 22.7% extra harvest chance for each one of these. So when you stack them, you're gonna have 45.4% chance to harvest extra uh, plants when you harvest them. And then you add 10.1% extra harvest here. So 55.5%. And then if you look at your gardening skill right here, as you accumulate more points, so we have 34.8% extra harvest chance just from increasing our gardening skill points. So you're going to look at a grand total here of, we go down to our adventuring, we have a 90.3% chance of extra harvest chance. And then one of the other things here, we have an 11.8% extra cooked food chance. So when we cook food, once it's done and we gather it, we have a 11.8%, so about a 12% chance of getting extra food. And that's going to come in handy. So you definitely wanna have those when you start getting these golden plants. And we're gonna show you right here. So when we do this, let me snag these. So we got 31 extra puffy berry puddings right there. So we have some of these right here, these rare foods that we can cook. So one of the things you do when you get these gold plants right here, I'll go ahead and show you guys some of them. So compared to the regular ones, go ahead and bring these down just to get a quick comparison of the uh, the differences that they have. They look small when you're just comparing them one on one, but once you cook these foods, the golden plants, as opposed to the regular ones, you're gonna notice a huge difference. So plus eight food for the golden Karak, four and a half health every second for 20 seconds. So plus nine, he nine food, plus 4.1 health every second for 20 seconds. So one extra food and 0.4 extra health. Doesn't look that big of a difference. The Pafingi plus six food, minus 23 health plus six food minus 25 health. So that's not actually better, that's worse. Hardy berry plus 11 food, 2.8 health, plus 11 food, 3.3. .3. So that's a little bit better. Glow tulip, four glow, one food, five glow, one food. Bomb pepper plus six food minus 11, plus six food minus 14. So the bomb pepper and the puffingi are actually worse because you're not really gonna eat these raw anyways. So when you're cooking the regular foods like that, you're gonna see, um, some basic bonuses nothing major Let's see if we can find some here i think right here so you see some basic food so let's get some orange berry pudding so 28 food so once you're mixing these each food each plant has a, a, um, a benefit that it's going to give you so the orange berry pudding here we have eight mining damage 25 max health right so if we look at some of these uh, rare foods a rare puffy berry pudding and then a rare spicy berry pudding so these are made by using two of the golden plants together. So we have 34 foods, 62 max health for five minutes, 17 seconds, plus 6.9 health every second for 21 seconds, a 21.4% melee damage for one minute and three seconds, and then plus 10% reduced damage taken from bosses for five minutes, 17 seconds. So this is where you can actually start increasing your chances of just kicking the crap out of not only the bosses, but when you start going into the mold dungeon, you want to want some of these golden foods, these golden rare, or the golden plants to make these rare foods. Because you can see right here, we've got one, two, three, four, four different bonuses on that one. And then we look at the rare spicy berry pudding plus 34 food, 62 max health for five minutes, 5.5 health every second for 20 seconds, a 21.4% melee damage for one minute, three seconds, 
plus 33.6 movement speed for a second or one minute and then plus four melee four percent melee attack speed for one minute so you're getting five to six different bonuses just from making the rare foods and they're all going to have different things so once you start playing around with them you'll have them in your recipe book and then you'll be able to see what uh what's going to benefit you the most depending on the situation whether it be fighting the bosses or going into difficult places like the mold dungeon the rare puffy tulip salad right here so this is obviously with the uh the golden glow tulip so plus nine glow for two minutes four range attack plus 10 percent reduced damage taken so this is gonna be the puffingi a rare puffy or a golden puffingi and a golden uh, glow tulip plus 6.9 health every second for 21 seconds so when you start doing these when you start cooking these let's throw uh let's do six puffingis those are the golden ones and then um let's do six bomb peppers I'll do that one in there and then we're gonna do let's do six Karox and six heartberries and you're gonna notice so right away when we start doing these you'll see the little shine in the corners here the little sparkle so we automatically know we're getting a rare food right here rare spicy mold cheese 14 percent reduced damage from bosses for five seconds and then another thing right here plus 18 percent damage against bosses for one minute so not only are you taking less damage, but you're going to be doing more damage. And then plus 4% melee attack, plus 33% uh, movement speed, and then the plus 4.9 health every second, plus 20 food. So that's really good right there, Puffingi and Bomb Peppers. So then we can go ahead and check uh, this one. Rare Country Berry Pudding, plus 62 max health for 5 minutes, 5.5 five health every second for 21 seconds, 21.4% melee damage for 1 minute, plus 32 armor, plus an 11% chance to knock back for a minute. So when you start doing this, definitely recommend putting points into the uh, Expert Gardener right here, especially once you get into 15% and you start growing these, your food is gonna be ridiculous. Now, that's one, def def one definite way to make yourself a better character when you're going out there, especially for fighting the bosses. But again, add these petal rings and the farmer set to give you that 90% or above extra chance to harvest extra so we can see right here we got two two right there another two uh one right there so we're almost getting extra harvest each time and we did mention that 11 percent chance of getting extra food when we cooked so let's go ahead and see if we're getting the extra rare food here getting two extra rare crunchy berry pudding gained one extra rare spicy mold cheese so this is going to be my go-to food from now on i'm going to start doing more gardening i'm already almost maxed out at 87 points but as obviously once you get higher it takes a little bit longer to increase your points but the amount of buffs that you can get from some of these golden plants and getting the rare food is definitely going to be a game changer going forward we don't know how difficult the game is going to get going forward we're only you know barely a month into the game if that and uh, so I think that definitely going down the golden plant and then cooking these golden plants for rare foods is just going to be a game changer. So that's all we got for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to touch a little bit more on gardening and what you can do with it, especially when you get to cooking the rare foods. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below if you've done this before, if you found any other recipes that you found super useful for taking on harder enemies or building a class like a poison class, a ranged attack or a melee uh a class or something like that so that being said take care of yourselves take care of each other and as always stay original my friends we'll catch you in the next video later